New at 5.30 and only on 4, the Franklin County Sheriff is answering tough questions tonight, only after NBC4 exposed disgusting pictures and conditions inside the jail. We're pressing Sheriff Dallas Baldwin for answers about why bodily fluids sat in urinals and mold was left untreated for so long. NBC4's Rob Sneed broke this story and tonight has a response from the man in charge. Rob? Yeah, Sheriff Baldwin told me as soon as the sheriff's office was notified, his staff worked to get the problems fixed. But five months later, the problems are still there. The question tonight, did the sheriff's office put its staff and inmates at risk? Inside the Franklin County Jail, urine, vomit, and other bodily fluids sitting inside of urinals and fears of black mold. When it comes to, as you state, the urinals not draining properly, right. as well as the mold that is on the fifth floor, and the conditions as they stand right now with the smell, are those appropriate conditions for your deputies to work in and inmates to be in at this moment as they stand right now? The conditions today are safe enough to be in there. No, I swear they're appropriate in your opinion. The standard, the conditions that they stand right now, are those appropriate conditions for your staff as I, well as I, the inmates? I think I've answered it. It's, it's now you, 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 yeah. were, you addressed the safety. Of course it's safe because they're there, but I'm asking you, are those conditions appropriate for them to be in right now, sir? I, that's, that's too hard to answer it that way. Five months after issues were reported to the maintenance company, the problems are still here. Why? Uh, they're not broken. They just don't drain properly. These were put in back in probably 1973, and they don't drain. They're not sloped, and so when anything goes into that, it's like a trough and it accumulates. And so it's almost a daily shift by shift uh, process to keep those cleaned out. Sheriff Dallas Baldwin says he did not know about the issues until last week, but says the chief deputy for the Division of Corrections, Penny Perry, knew since August. I inherited the issues that are in the facilities. Sheriff Baldwin says it's not the sheriff's office fault. Um, I was looking at some of the pictures and it looked, this doesn't appear as though this, this happened overnight. Why wasn't this addressed earlier? Well, I think when it started appearing, from what I'm being told, this, this goes back to around September, September, October. And when it started appearing, there were reports forwarded. And at that time, uh, PFM, the Public Facilities Management, who takes care of all the maintenance, they were notified. And again, you're talking about issues that I don't go change those. My staff, that's not our job. You know, we rely on the building maintenance people to do that. I mean, that's their fun. job. PFM. Public Facilities Management is responsible for maintenance of county facilities. Sheriff Baldwin says PFM replaced six of the ten urinals. Perry says she did not delay reporting the issues to PFM. And now, one day after my report aired, progress. A walkthrough was conducted. Um, so he just sent, actually this morning, his <laughs> findings on the report. Uh, so we can move forward and correct that problem. When's the last time you walked through the fifth floor? Uh, it's been a while, yes. Baldwin says he sent the mold out for testing and it's not toxic black mold. Both Perry and Baldwin say they care about their deputies and inmates' well being greatly, and they hope these problems are fixed within the next six to eight weeks. Once these problems are rectified within this current jail right now, when it comes to the mold, when it comes to the urinals, yeah. would you again invite me to come back with the camera and see well, the improvements that are made? Come back. Yeah, absolutely. I, we have nothing to hide in here, and this, we continually address the problems as they arise. And tonight I reached out to the Fraternal Order of Police, the union that represents law enforcement officers that work in and outside of the jail. Vice President Jeff Simpson said the sheriff's response is nothing but mistruths and zero accountability. Live in the newsroom, Rob Sneed, NBC4.